Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I have a brand new resource to introduce you to and I'm going to talk about this wig. I received this piece from a company called Irresistible Me. You guys, the wig came in this container. I've never seen anything like it. So this is Irresistible Me. This is the gorgeous container that it was packed in. Whoops, somebody's at the door. You can hear my dogs. Wow, so amazing. Such a different concept. So Irresistible Me is an online wig retailer. They carry human hair wigs. They carry synthetic wigs. They carry um, extensions. They have a lot of options when it comes to alternative hair. And they have a really unique membership program that can save you money. So if you want to know more about this piece, or Irresistible Me, then stick around and we'll talk all about it. So I would like to thank Irresistible Me for sending me this piece so that I could review it and learn more about them. I'm always looking for new resources and um, options for my hair wearing sisters, whether you wear hair because you suffer from hair loss or you just like to wear hair and you don't want to sometimes deal with your bio hair, I really want to bring you every resource that I can get my hands on because we're all so different and what we're looking for both in um, kind of financially, the, pr the price that we're looking to pay for alternative hair and the types of hair that we're looking for are all different. And so it's important that every single one of us gets to see something that speaks to us and our needs. I will put some details in the description so that you can go check this piece out and visit the Irresistible Me website just to see if they might have anything that will work for you. Like I said in the beginning, this, I've got my laptop here and I'm looking at some of the details. So basically they've got clip-ins, they have hair extensions that are clip-ins, tape-ins, they have wigs, both synthetic and human hair, they have ponytails, they have accessories, all kinds of really neat um, alternative hair. I now this piece is called Caramel Caramel. I'm from the Midwest. I usually say caramel. It's spelled caramel. Caramel balayage money piece in 24 inches. It's insanely long. Look at how long this piece is you guys. Let's take a look at it from all sides so you can really see it in all its glory. Caramel Balayage Money Piece. It's 24 inches long. It's made with heat-friendly fibers. They call it their, it says, try our new vegan Japanese faux fiber wigs. So these are, I guess, vegan Japanese fibers, and they do say that right on the container. I'm not sure if other fibers are animal-based. I really don't know, but that's what they say on their website. And this has a beautiful density. So for a wig this long, one of the issues that you could run into is if they use a lot of hair, so if it's a really thick, heavy wig, it becomes extremely unmanageable. This wig is not thick and heavy. It is really literally the perfect density for something this long. And you can see that when I put it in a ponytail, that's just a beautiful, healthy looking ponytail. And I think it, a ponytail or an updo would stay up fairly well with this one because it doesn't feel extremely heavy. Now this wig is pretty much fresh out of the box and I haven't even cut the lace. So if you're wondering what's on my forehead, this is the lace and you have to cut it. On budget friendly wigs and human hair wigs, almost always they come with long lace that has to be cut. I have a couple of videos on YouTube that show you how to cut lace on a wig. I will tack those in the description below. I'll link them so that you can go check that out if you're not familiar with that process. Now this lace is 13 inches. So we have got lace that goes all the way beyond the ears. There's that lace and you can see. This is considered a lace frontal. You might see that term sometimes online, lace frontal versus lace closure. A frontal means the whole front of the wig is lace. Why is that important to know? Well, number one, you often have to adhere 13 inch lace frontals because there is no tension on the lace. On a closure, which is what 
um, a lot of the ready to wear major name brand wigs like John Renault, Aesthetica, Renee of Paris, Ellen Villa, you know, all of those, Raquel Welch, those are um, technically, I think they're considered lace closures if they have a lace front because that lace ends somewhere in the front here and attaches to cap. That puts tension on the lace that makes them glueless from the standpoint of the lace laying flat. On a frontal like this, there is no tension. So once I cut this lace, it seems like there's tension on here because there's so much of it. Once I cut it, if I want to pull it back, if I want to tuck it, you can see that's going to lift that lace on the sides. Now, you can cut it as far back as you would like. So if you have no bio hair, you can leave that lace all the way, just cut it along the hairline, and then you can actually adhere it, glue it down, and you're going to look like you have hair all the way down. If, on the other hand, you have bio hair like I do right here, what I like to do then is I like to cut the lace a little further back right here. I end up losing just a little bit of the hair, and that way I don't have to glue it down, and I can tuck it easily, and my bio hair will go with it. So just probably more information than a lot of you need, but for those of you who are new, that's important detail for you to know about the lace In addition front. to the frontal, we have a center part. Now here's the thing. One reason why I love frontals that don't have ear tabs, which this doesn't, is if you get one that has a part that doesn't work for you, you can shift that wig. And I actually looks like I have it shifted a little bit. So if I put this wig dead center where it where it's meant to go, it is a center part. But when you don't have ear tabs, you can take it and you can shift it to make that a side part because you don't have to deal with ear tabs being a problem around your ears. So you can wear this with a side part and you can go as deep or as shallow as you want. If you like a deeper side part, you can absolutely do that. Now, because of the length and the waves, I don't think you can see an appreciable, huge difference in length when you do that. On a shorter wig, a straight wig, sometimes when you shift it, one side looks a lot longer than the other. So if that's a way that you're gonna wear it all the time, you can just trim up that one side. So don't look at this and think, I can't do a side part, so I can't do that wig. Any wig that's a frontal, that doesn't have ear tabs, can be shifted because there's total flexibility in doing that. I just wanted you guys to know about that. So let's look inside this cap. So there's all that lace that you will cut. And the lace isn't completely transparent, but it's pretty light. It looks pretty passable on my skin. Sometimes with budget-friendly wigs, the lace can be a little darker. I'm not dealing with that on this one. There's that parting space right there. We've got a comb on either side where the ear tabs would be. If you don't have hair, like I don't, I don't have hair that I'm gonna tuck that comb into. It just sits there, it doesn't bother me, I don't feel it, but you can always cut it out if you don't want it. But it can give you some security if you do have bio hair. Then we've got a comb in the back at the nape, which if you have a flat back of your head and you constantly are dealing with wigs riding up in the back, a comb tucked into your little ponytail at the base of your neck or into the wig grip can really help with that. We have silicone all the way around. So what that can do is it can help. Oh, it looks like my camera just got darker. When I get closer, the white balance goes off. The, anyway, um, the autofocus. Um, what the silicone can do if you have no bio hair at all is it can grip your scalp a little bit and give you a lot of security. If you've got bio hair, I've got too much bio hair for the silicone to really help me, but it doesn't hurt me either. It doesn't pull on my hair and I have a super sensitive scalp. So it's a great feature that can help some and might not mean much of anything to others. Then we've got the rest of this is closed wefted and we have hook adjusters. And I'm going to talk about size next. And so you can see I have my hooks, please focus, uh, one hook in. And that'll be important in the next segment. So let's talk about fit. I think this is running really true to average. I have a 22 inch circumference. I have it cinched in one hook and it's fitting me perfectly. It is so secure on my head right now. I don't have a wig grip on with this. I don't need one. It feels incredibly secure. Now, once I get rid of this part of the lace, it will loosen up because it's not going to have that tension there. So at that point, I can probably cinch it in another. So I would say... 
22 to 22 and a quarter should be absolutely all right. Maybe even 22 and a half. There is not a ton of stretch on this. A little bit, but not a lot of stretch. I do get extra cap up here. You can see when I fold it over. And on an average cap, I expect that because I have very petite over the top of my head measurements. But it's not so much. I don't feel like there's a bunch of bulking up there, gapping. So overall, I think it's running pretty true to average. I think if you're a quarter to a half inch bigger on your circumference, I think it'll fit you. And if you're even a fair amount bigger than me over the top, so the ear to ear and front to back, I also think this will fit you. All of my measurements are in the description below so you can compare them to yours. Before we talk about color, let me summarize my thoughts. I think this wig is fun. Um, it's, you know, with the price that they have right now, and I have a, I think I have a 10% discount for you. It's really probably going to be around 50 or $60 to purchase. That may or may not be what you consider super budget friendly to take a chance on a wig. But if you're someone who likes to experiment, likes to play with new things, maybe you want to learn how to cut and trim up a wig and make it your own, this could be a fun one to do that with. The fibers feel really great. They are heat friendly. So this will be challenging for long daily wear. If you were to get this and want to wear it for eight to 10 hours a day at work or something, I don't think this wig is going to hold up terribly long because of the length and the heat friendly fibers. Heat friendly fibers need heat to keep them soft and supple. On a wig with waves like this, if you take like a hot air brush to it and go straight down with it. If you take a flat iron, if you take a hot comb, all of those are great heat to take to a heat friendly wig, but they will straighten the waves out. Now you can always add them back in with a curling iron. I'm personally very challenged when it comes to curling heat friendly wigs. They take more effort than human hair. And so I do struggle. I, I personally would struggle to put this curl pattern back in. So what can you do about that? Well, first of all, you can take steam to it a clothing steamer and what I would do is after every wear because these are going to rub up on your clothing a lot I would put this on a mannequin head and I would just kind of steam over it if you wait too long though that won't be enough heat I do have a video where I show how to do that I'll link it below another way that you can maintain this wig longer is to sometimes style it in a way that it's not rubbing on your clothing so put it in a ponytail Put it in a braid, grab it. Now, obviously, I'm not gonna make this look beautiful how it's sitting on my head right now, but if you could get it all pulled back, and then I like to just sort of twist it around and put it in a claw clip. So I do a twist, I grab it all together. This is a lot of hair, you're gonna need a big claw clip. But if you clip it up, that's gonna help those fibers and it's going to remove the friction on them periodically. So if you sometimes wear it up and sometimes wear it down, I think you'll be able to maintain these fibers a little bit better. All right, and finally, let's talk about color. So this is what they are calling caramel balayage with money piece. And this is the money piece. So whenever you see a wig that says it has money pieces, that means it has a highlight, typically blonde, right here next to the face so face framing highlights and what's really interesting about what they've done with this color is they've taken that light color and they put it underneath sometimes you'll see wigs where the underside is darker than the rest of the wig so this is unique and i think it can make for some super fun styling if you want to do a half up half down or some braids you can really play up that lighter color in the back which is super fun. Now this uh, brunette in here is pretty ashy. So I would consider this brunette neutral to ashy and the money pieces are a little bit warmer, like a golden. I don't see any red in the brunette and the blonde is, it's almost more like a light brown, dark blonde color. Beautiful contrast. All right, everybody, that's it. So this is Irresistible Me, a new retailer to me. Maybe some of you have heard of them, though. If you have, maybe share your experience with them below. I just thought this was really interesting. And I don't know if every wig comes in one of these, but because this was so long, it was just 
it had like wrapping around it and it was just beautifully set inside this which really helped to maintain that style and again they've got human hair they have tons of extensions tape-ins clip-ins ponytail extensions so worth checking out again i have a 10 percent discount for you i'll put all the details in the description let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching i'll talk to you guys in my next video Thank mm -hmm. you.